Let, let, let's get into this, man. Let's get into this. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Perfect, perfect topic. For him yes, perfect topic. Too. Topic number five right here coming from Variety. Your boy James Gunn has left Marvel and has officially gone over to DC, not just to direct a TV show, not just to direct a movie, but to direct the whole dang studio as CEO. James Gunn and Peter Safran to lead DC studios for Warner Brothers Discovery. James Gunn and Peter Safran have been tapped as co-chairman and CEOs of DC Studios, a newly created production entity that will oversee DC's properties for Warner Brothers Discovery. We're honored to be the stewards of the DC characters we love since we were children, said Gunn and Safran. We look forward to collaborating with the most talented writers, directors, and actors in the world to create an integrated multi-layer universe that still allows for the individual expression of artists involved. Our commitment to Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Harley Quinn, and the rest of DC stables of characters is only equal by our commitment to wonder of human possibilities these characters represent. We're excited to invigorate the theatrical experience around the world as we tell some of the biggest, most beautiful and grandest stories ever told. We're especially enthusiastic about doing all of this with Mike, Pam, Casey, Channing, and the whole Warner Brothers Discovery team, uh, Discovery team. And are grateful to David Zaslav, whose bold vision for the future of the franchise we share and allows for this one in a lifetime opportunity. Most of all, we can't wait for you to bring you and all into the story of the DCU. Uh, I'm gonna, oh, I was, I was gonna get my commentary, but I'm gonna wait. One say, big dog, I'm gonna come to you first this time, man. Welcome back, sir. What do you think about this news? Is this good or bad? How you feeling? Let us know. I love it. I love it. Uh, it I think with, with DC, I think it's been up and down, but to me, they've been a, a, a way more consistent over the past year, year and a half, two years, or something like that. And so now that they finally have somebody overseeing everything, somebody with an actual vision for where they want this to go, and that person being James Gunn, and we know the greatness he brought to Guardians of the Galaxy, taking obscure characters, people didn't know too much about him, making them, making them household names. And then we saw when he first came in with the Suicide Squad and what he did with that, re reinvigorated that whole, that whole section of the DCEU. And then we saw when he took another character that not too many people knew of and peacemaker and you brought that onto like the small screen and, and gave us even more characters that people have, have became household names probably the one of the if not the best superhero show of the year so just with all of that and if somebody had like a grand scheme for what they want to do and we know with james gunn he likes to take chances he likes to take risks he likes to do stuff that you know, some people might, you know, kind of look out to, but now since he's over DC, you can do that with so many other different characters. I love it. I, I'm just, I, as a huge DC fan, and I know my boy Elliot agrees, like, we're happy that we got somebody like James Gunn to oversee this turning point for DC. Because right now, we with it. We with it right now, dog. We with it right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Already, already. Elliot, where you at on this? Listen, man, I don't even know how to follow it up, man. The return of uh, Big Dog coming in here, just crushing it, bro. So <laughs> I can't say it any better than he did, man. I mean, James Gunn was not only um, has been bringing us some great content with his, uh, you know, short stint in the DC universe so far. Um, but y'all got to remember, man, this was Kevin Feige's go to guy. Uh, there was a point in time where back in 2015, 2016, before he got fired from Disney, Kevin publicly said, I want to go galactic and I want James Gunn to run that that, you know, that department, that section of the MCU. But unfortunately, as we know, history came and uh, DC came through, said, you know what? We like you, James. We know you like to do obscure, deep cut stuff and you want to get rated R, you want to get gritty. We're going to get that to you. That's what they did with the Suicide Squad. And I couldn't agree with my man as much as he said, Peacemaker it might be the best comic book show of the year. If, if, if the boys wasn't in a category season three, I might put, you know, Peacemaker up there. And and two, Big Dog's uh, opinion this year, 1,000% they have been murdering Marvel this year. Not only Peacemaker, the Batman. And, you know, uh, Black Adam was, was a solid, good action film. And it blows Doctor Strange and Thor. And, you know, I love me some Miss Marvel and Moon Knight, but they wasn't messing with Listen, MCU, 
watch your back because we coming, y'all. We are coming. So I'm very excited for it. And, and not to overlook Peter. He is someone that I've been a fan of from his producing work with the horror. You know, I know Big Dog's a horror fan. Conjuring Universe. If it wasn't, obviously James Wan was the shepherd of that, but he also produced a lot of those films and the Conjuring, the Annabelle films and all that stuff. And also he works with DC. Shazam. Aquaman. And he's been a friend of James Gunn for 20 years. So listen, listen, y'all. Hashtag, hashtag DC fire. Let's go. Let's roll. All right. Now it's my turn. Here's the Marvel. Here's the Marvel guy. We got some pros. Yeah. And we got some cons. You know, while I'm happy about this, I'm also upset. Mm. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not being facetious. Um, I honestly think this is a big ass mess. To be honest with you, this is good for DC, but this is a big ass mess for Marvel. I don't know, guys. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 opens up next year. Uh-huh. He yep, starts yep. on Tuesday with DC. <laughs> His assistant gonna be there covering for him. So, so what 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 do you how do you even like and, and Kevin Kevin Feige gonna give the 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 PR answer? Yes, I'm excited for James Gunn. I'll be the first in line. To see his new DC movies, and, and I'm saying it's good for DC because I, I love James Gunn as a creator, as a director, as a writer, all the way back to Slither. If y'all haven't seen Slither, a horror comedy that came out, it's a good ass movie. Yeah, I love Peacemaker. We done talked about it. I love the new Suicide Squad. That's one of the best comic book movies ever released. You know, so I know that DC is gonna win, bringing him on. So I have no problems right there. But how the hell are you gonna be the CEO? of dc when you still got a movie that's in the oven with marvel i like how i like how do you that's just too much to me you know what i'm saying and it's and matter of fact i don't like this little beefing between studios as well because this past week we got the trailer for uh the guardians of the galaxy mm -hmm. holiday special and then either the same day or the next day no it was release. the same day it was the oh, same, same day, day you're gonna release it's an hour too late man, that's yep. messy as hell man like why, why, why are you gonna do that, Zas Lab? You know what I'm saying? Marvel didn't do nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? From my understanding, Kevin Feige been, this whole time since 2008, time by uh, Rise and Tide, Raise Our Ships. I want all comic book movies to be successful. And yeah. so, you want to do some stuff like this? How, how, how is James Gunn going to like? Where is he going to put his energy? Because I, would, if I was Feige, I would feel some type of way about this. Like, bro, I want you to win. I want you to do good. If stuff not working out with you for Marvel that's fine you you understand where i'm at i don't got all the control i used to because we're under new management right now you know what i'm saying just finish strong but you're gonna go you're gonna go man ain't no job in the world bro to where you can do something like this bro <laughs> to where you can like like you either put you put you in your two weeks your month notice you do the best you can or they may let you go okay well because it's a conflict of interest because you're going to a competitor we'll just let you go and pay your two weeks your month whatever but come on, man. And it'd be different if Guardians of the Galaxy was coming out like next month or something. Bro. That's uh, uh, no, we in November, J December, January, February, March, April, May. Six months. You got to go back and forth to both studios. I'll be mad as hell if I was Kevin Feige. That's BS. And the thing about it is, and I, let me let me try to flip. Let me try to turn this positive because that was kind of a negative. The good thing about this is that maybe in five or ten, I think James Gunn contract lasts four years. Or okay, yeah. Yep. So I wouldn't want to see this in four years. That would be pretty early, maybe in ten. But James Gunn may not be there. But this also is a clear in the pros. This is a clear indication that we may get a DC Marvel crossover movie. Why the f not? There's been in the past four five years. There's been so much happening in comic books that we did not think was going to happen. Like your boy Henry Cavill coming back as Superman. Uh, a, a Jamie Foxx coming back as Electro, whether you wanted that or not. Toby and Andrew coming to Spider Man, so the sky's the limit as far as that's concerned. Mm -hmm. We know that that happened in the comics, and everybody, all the heads at the studios have worked together. Uh, Kevin Feige, James Gunn, and Alan Horn have all worked together, and all of them are the top heads of the studio. Mm -hmm. Only person that can f that up is Bob Chapek, and I think I uh, hopefully he done learned his lesson by now. And it's just a big mess. Like, is this even a conspiracy? How are you? How does Alan Horn fire you and then hire you back, but then go to the other company? And then hire it's just like that is like a one you have better chances of hitting the lottery 
bro, <laughs> from like a transaction of like that ever happened again. Like that is just think about that, bro. But that's how. But the, because and this is the ultimate comer for James Gunn because somebody tried to hate on him mm -hmm. years ago and bring up his Twitter dirt. Mm -hmm. That is why he is now the CEO of Disney. Like, it's the biggest, what kind of like, what kind of flex yeah. is that, bro? Like, right, you just right. you, try, you know I'm coming back stronger. You know, what come I'm saying? at like, me, come at how me. How do the yeah. dominoes fall? Into it, it's just it, it, it's just, this is a good mess. And like you said, Elliot, it's because uh, Alan Horn fired him because of it, those I, I would never, I don't even want to Google them because they were so gross. Yeah, they were pretty, them, them them tweets years scary. ago. Yeah. Um. Uh. He. I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh. Oh. Yeah, like you said, Elliot, he was supposed to be the new uh Galactic Empire. Yeah, kind of the second hand of Kevin Feige. Yeah. Yeah, and and wh wh where is that at now? You know, like who who's on? You know, I know Kevin Feige and his feelings, and I don't blame him. I do not blame him. I know he mad, pacing back and forth. Chaper, you f this up. I don't know, but I mean, it's good and bad, bro. It's 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 it's, it's good for DC, but it's it's a mess for Marvel. You know, and and I don't, I'm, I don't, I don't know how to feel about it, man. I, I just, I'm happy, but I'm upset at the same time. You know, um, hold on, DC has. I even want to read that. Um, I really don't. I mean, I, I got my point across. I mean, I think we said everything that's important, but I don't know, man. Uh, Y'all got some pushback? Am I tripping? Am I? Am I? Am I making any sense at all? I, listen, B, I get what you're saying. But there is something that always happened between DC and Marvel. And the fact that the news came out the same day that the Guardians of the Galaxy trailer came out, yeah. to me, makes sense. Because I remember when, like, DC was struggling, and I, and I want to say it was Civil War and BVS. Do y'all not remember that they were supposed to come out on the same day? Yeah. So DC, we know DC was struggling at the time, so they had to push BVS back. And not to mention all the Marvel releases for some of their Disney push I want to say the Disney push shows mm -hmm. came out the same day as some of DC's like biggest films. So yeah, th there's been like a little pity side of Marvel. Too, no back so. and forth, yeah. I don't, I don't feel bad about DC like, yeah, we we the time is turning right now. We go ahead and drop some on y'all. <laughs> yeah man, I, I honestly think DC can uh surpass Marvel now. It's not impossible. Oh no, it's not it's no, it's not impossible at all. I mean, and listen, we've and this is the crazy thing about DC Studios now. I know DCEU, just DCU sounds a lot better. Uh, yeah. we have all of our characters in the stable, and I think the one thing I love about James Gunn, especially based off of his work with DC so far, the man goes, he 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 cuts deep. I mean, Starro as your main villain, polka dot man, uh, you know, peacemaker <laughs> within itself. I mean, the man's gonna cut and which what I what I'm getting at is not only does he know those comic book characters, that means we're gonna finally get a goddamn Green Lantern. We're gonna get yeah. some, you know, Deathstroke in the mix, we're gonna get, you know, the Green Lantern core. So I, I definitely anticipate James gonna really go on his back with this one. And just to push back a little bit, Brandon, on your comments about Marvel <laughs> being messy. You gotta remember, it's not a one person deal, it's a two person deal. That's the reason they got two people. While James Gunn is promoting his movie with Marvel, that's why he got Peter in the chair, you know, making all the moves. And, and, and it wasn't gonna be like he's gonna go and work on Tuesday and just start making plans right away. It's gonna take a little bit to kind of get within the system. So while he's doing that, I think that's where Peter's gonna come in and get those deals in place, get Henry Cavill back, you know, get that situated, find some writers, find some other uh, directors for that. And when May comes around, and, and by the way, the film shot, so it's not like he's shooting Guardians and going back and forth in the CEO True. chair and the director chair. It's just a matter of like, you know, finding little touches and then promoting the film, being on the press junket, which isn't, you know, you know, uh, brain surgery. So he can, he can handle it. He can do it. He can do it at once. Uh, I, I'm going to, I hear you, man. I'm going to push back a little bit. Cause I mean, yeah, you film and I mean, the film is probably done, but at the same yeah. time, man, the movie is made in the editing room, bro. Like he, I'm, pre and I, I'm pretty I, sure. I think he said it's done. I think he said it's in the can, like editing wise, okay. processing wise. So I think we, I think we're good. Cause man. Bro, I don't. I'm pretty sure you, we've all been there, man. I have we or well, I have recorded some videos, and by the time I hit stop, I'm like that video was garbage trash. I don't feel like doing it over, but somehow, some way, I was able to make some magic uh, with the editing. editing. Oh yeah, and, and oh, oh yeah. And people, oh, it's a great video, Brandon. Great review. I'm like, I thought it was gonna suck, but you know. <laughs> uh, let me ask y'all this though. So since all this stuff is happening, man, we got you know um, Peter Saffron, producer, uh, the handling the business. Uh, and I, I, I didn't even give no uh, praise to him real quick. Let me let me just uh, this is Peter Saffron right here on the right. Yeah. Yeah. So James going on the left. He's going to handle the creative. Peter Saffron's going to handle the, the business. 
And if we look at uh, IMDb, you know, here's some of the films that Peter Saffron has produced. So they're doing that. Uh, Henry Cavill is back. What are the chances that Ben Affleck comes back as Batman? I, I, I would, oh, I, I would love it. I would love it. I would love it. Like they give him, like, hey, we're gonna give you the money. Ben, I want you to write a, a trilogy for Batman or five films. You know, you got it. We're gonna trust you. Six hundred million dollar budget. Six hundred. I, I mean, I'm saying, bro, like. <laughs> I, I, like what do you, what do you, what do you think of the, the chance one one take big dog what are the chances that Ben Affleck will come back as Batman and is that something that you want it's something I want is that something you want let us know I, I'm I'm gonna be honest man I, I love I love his Batman I really really do but the fact that we already have is Matt Reeves Batman uh. going like you already have it going and you start off you start off great with it yeah. Yeah, bring in another one right now, especially for a solo film. For anything else, I don't think it would be that bad. But that's yeah. that, then that's kind of like the catch twenty two because if Ben Affleck did come back, I wanted to see him in a solo film. You can't have two solo Batman films going at the same time. Just doesn't think they work. As a, two many eggs, one basket. But for him to come back and still work. Cause like him, every cow and Superman, guy can do one woman. I, I just get that feeling, you know what I'm saying? I just get that feeling inside. I get goosebumps. I'm getting chills. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I love it. It's just for what I actually want, which is a solo Batman film from Ben Affleck. I don't think he would come back. Considering I don't think he, he would be able to get that right now, especially. But if, if the Batman flopped. And they just like, oh no, we're not doing that. But right. sorry, we came out out the out the gate like, yeah, I'm giving you some pressure, DC. Like we 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 coming, you know what I'm saying? Right. So right. I, don't, I don't think I don't think we're gonna get. It. I would want to see it, but I don't think we're gonna get it. All right, uh, Ellie, what you think? Man, I think you know the thing I think about with Ben Affleck, and I remember him a conversation that Matt Damon brought up as far as he had to go to Ben Affleck and said, man, you got to leave Batman alone because it's killing you. It was literally yeah. killing him. You know, he went down this dark depression hole with losing his wife, alcoholism, drugs, all that stuff. So it is a good, you know, it would be cool as, as a, you know, a human being to be able to overcome something that almost destroyed you. But I think at this point in his career, going back to direction, going back to other films, which he has done so far with bouncing back and being married to J-Lo doesn't hurt. Um, but I think Big Dog touched on it. I don't think it will be a problem. I don't know if we'll ever see another solo or get, ever get a solo outing with Ben Affleck uh, independently. But I do think uh, the cat's out of the bag. He's already been confirmed to be an Aquaman too. There's He's already confirmed to be in The Flash. Um I wouldn't be mad if he pops in as kind of like a not a cameo, but he comes into these big event films. Um, whether it is a you know a crisis on Infinite Earth or whether it is a passing a baton to a Nightwing potentially uh, in, in the DC world, and he kind of he's serving as the Batman ish character uh, as far as the Nightwing goes. But yeah, I don't know if we'll ever see Ben Affleck in front or behind the camera on a solo Batman film, but I wouldn't be surprised if he still wears that cape for the next four or five years and popping up every now and then. I hope so. I, ho I hope so. We'll we'll have to see. Uh, got a few super chats. Don't want to forget those. Uh, let me grab those real quick. Uh, the Wakanda Forever. My goodness gracious. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ten dollars. The Last Dragon remake. You sent me back with that one. B. You got that glow. Yes. Show sure enough. Who's the master? I am. One of my favorite movies growing up. Bruce Leroy. Great show today. You just made my day. Uh, if I could play any movie role, it would be Bruce Leroy. Like seriously, I, I I would destroy that role. I swear to God, I swear <laughs> to God. Like it, it, it's a scene in there too that I can relate to where he was getting to it with his younger brother. I, mm -hmm. I would destroy this role. But anyway, uh, maybe that will pop off into fruition one day. Mm -hmm. But thank you, Wakanda Forever. Discuss Harley, nineteen ninety nine. Thank you so much. It's about time DC can finally be on the map. Yes, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yep. Thank you, Discus. Uh, Discuss Harley. I appreciate it for the nineteen ninety nine. Thank you. And also Wakanda Forever, another $10, my goodness. my goodness. If they can pull it off, Marvel vs. DC would be the highest grossing movie of all time. Easy could set an opening record that would never be broken. Close, but it, only if the movie was good. It, it would have to it would have to exceed our expectations for that because if not, it really wouldn't be bigger than Endgame. Uh, 
because it's just it would just still fall into the category of a comic book movies. It would it would have to be it would have to exceed our expectations, uh, and we would have to build up for that. I don't want them coming out with that in two, three, four, five years. Mm. I, I won't want that to be a while. But we're kind of forever. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And also uh, Cynthia Charles, four hundred and nine. Just like Fifty Cent leaving stars with those shows still in development. Uh, is that a fair comparison? Because well, I don't know. Maybe good observation, but thank okay. you for the thank you for the super chat, Cynthia. I do appreciate it. Uh, and for all of that, I, we got to celebrate some way, somehow, because uh, that was so much. Let's see what we're gonna play real quick. Thank y'all so much for all the super chats. I really, really, really do appreciate it. Seriously, you are keeping lights on and you are keeping this channel going. And uh, of course, I want to hear from all of you guys in the chat, whether it's live on the replay, what you think about this as well. We're dying to know. Are you happy about James Gunn and Peter Saffron leading the DC? You think it's good? You think it's bad? Will Ben Affleck come back as Batman? Let us all know in that comment section. Uh, we will all love to know.